Good morning, everybody. We've got a couple of things we're gonna do today. All right, let's talk about the first one. We got this uh, 20 foot gooseneck, seven foot, seven foot between the fenders, 20 foot long. I widened it to where it uses the full eight foot. And those are drive over fenders. It's made out of structural 10 inch channel. So they're strong as all get out. We've put a lot of weight over top of these things, pulling it on. We use uh, blocks of wood as ramps. So they're not technically drive over, but they're hold the weight. We just have to build something in there. Uh, trailer lights don't work. Plug, uh, plug got eight up. So my dad's already put this plug on, drilled the holes and mounted the uh, seven, this is box, junction box, seven way RV plug. Cause it does have brakes. Uh, we're gonna put that on. We're gonna get these lights working and be back legal <laughs> i actually got pulled over not long ago so we got to get these working oh uh, it's been a real good trailer so we'll get that done and uh get back with you in just a minute i got my truck over here let's get some tools out i'll show y'all how i got my toolbox organized at the very least Hard to do this one hand. I'm not used to doing it like this. All right, so I got these little plastic ammo boxes from Harbor Freight. Let's see how many I got in here. I got a bunch. Got more on the other side. All right, so that's four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and one big, bigger one. All right, and it's got, uh... all right, so on my Pioneer, I got those adjustable shocks. I got a shock adjuster in it, some files, a big hammer, like a big uh, one-pound hammer. Uh, I, it's done wore off. Oh, a half-inch breaker bar. It's hard to see on that black. All right, so then I got them all labeled, make them easy to find, screwdrivers, wrenches, quarter sockets three eight sockets has you know you get the idea i got uh wire brushes and solderless connectors and i got those posi taps and solder shrink those little butt connectors that sh uh sh heat heat up with a heat gun and it shrinks and solders it i love them little things and uh just all kind of stuff so i try to make it to where it's easy to find and uh get to and quick main thing is time you know these days i, I don't have hardly any time I, I stay so busy doing stuff but uh that's where we're at and when we get to the back coat i'll show you what i'm gonna do to it but hopefully no more than about an hour or so over here on this dozer maybe maybe two hours go ahead and do the trailer while we're right here and uh go from there all right i'll get y'all in a little bit all right so what we got here is one of these uh just a plug a molded seven way like a rv style plug with a box junction box okay i like using these junction boxes easier to replace these easier to replace the whole assembly if you need to problem is when you buy them a lot of the times when you buy the good deals like we do, like off of eBay or Amazon, colors don't match to what it's supposed to be. So I look up on the uh, internet what each one's supposed to be. I kind of know. Like this is left, that's right. When you're looking at it going into the truck, it's always right, left. All right, so then you plug, you probe with one, one, one end of your lead. And I like to use the buzzer. And then you just go along through it, touching these wires. All right, so that's brown. So right is brown on this plug. Some plugs, it's like blue or black. You know, it's, 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 they're different every time. It's like the guys making these don't know the difference. Can't read a schematic most likely. So then I take a piece of paper and I write down what color does what. So I know. Then, I simply look, 
so I know what wire goes to what on the trailer. I know, I know number one is uh, right, number two is left, and number three is tail, just for the wires that I use going to the back. Ow. So, every trailer is different. Depending on how, if it's a factory wire, if you're using what kind of wire you can find, whatever the case might be, just keep a little, write, just write down what it is, what it's supposed to be, and go from there. Now this piece of paper, when I get through with this piece of paper, I'm gonna tear it off and I'm gonna plug it, put it inside this box to leave it. That way, if I ever need to get back into it, I know what wire is what. If I ever wanna hook up a 12 volt charge wire or I don't know, electric jack, especially on electric jack. That way, I know what's what. Oh. Uh, in fact, I need to put one electric jack on that 10 ton trailer, but that's another story. That's another video. Oh. Uh, I'm putting new ends on because I had a different box. The box just didn't work out right. Then the plug wire got messed up. So it it's always something when you use this stuff a lot. So just simply keep everything wrote down. Uh, as far as what, what wire does what, they're all over the internet. If you can't find it on the internet, plug it in the truck without wires being hooked to the trailer. Have somebody hit the brakes. Have somebody do left turn signal, right turn signal. You can use a test light or you can use a, a multimeter. I use multimeters. That's all I use. I, I'm just, I like them. Turn your tail lights on. Hit your brake for your brake wire, brake controller. Now, might get a little confused if you're trying to find just for the brake brake wire on the trailer for the brakes, electric brakes. What you can do is find the left and right turn signal first. When you hit the brakes, those two should be lit solid, both of them at the same time, and then find the third one that is lit solid when the brakes are on. That would be your brake wire controller. If you if you have to use a meter or test light to find uh, what wire is what, so just a little just a little trick, something to think about, and uh, I'm just gonna hook these up. Y'all wanna watch? I'll let you watch, but I'm gonna start a new one so I can fast forward it. All right, so we got everything hooked up. My dad's going to uh, try the brakes out. Let's see. See if y'all can see this. All right, I'm talking to the camera. Hold on. All right. Uh, left turn signal. Right. All right. Uh, turn it off. Left. Huh. Okay, just hit brakes. All right. Hit tail lights. Okay. Turn it off. Left again. Okay. Hold tight. All right, so there we go. We got a problem. Either the, one of the LED bulbs is burnt out or a wire is bad or it's a bad connection in the back. So here's where the meter comes into play. And your little wire diagram. Left is one, which is brown. Turn it to vo uh, DC volts. All right, hit the brakes. All right, let off. Hit left. Okay. That's where a uh, test light, the only advantage you have, or either a really good multimeter where you can select uh, retain high. So uh, I got to get back here in the back and see if it's a bad connection or a bad bulb. Let me uh, get everything ready and I'll turn you back on. Uh, it's hard to see what I'm doing. Way up under this trailer. You can't replace a bulb in the tail light. 
Nope. I got an oval shape, but I ain't got a square. Really good. I have it on sale. They didn't have one. It's probably the price. I bought it and I'll get another one later and I can never have got another one. Do it yeah, it looks pretty rough inside that connector. So I'm going to cut it under the plastic. Save as much wire as I can. Then you just strip these things back. Make sure there ain't no corrosion on the wire. It looks pretty good. I think it was just a bad connection. So we'll strip these wires back. Yeah, I know, wire strippers are easier, but I don't have a good set. So I always use the ends of these uh, crimpers, and it strips it right off. Twist them together, have a good seal, connection between them. All right, what I'm using is a cap, so it's Blank on one end, protects it so you don't short it out. Put that up on there. All right. Let's see what this does. Oh. All right, you ready to try to lift? I'm gonna, yo, left turn signal. Still not working. Let's go back up here and try this again. Yep, I was on the wrong one before. <clears throat> Left is red. All right, turn it off. Let's do right. All right, let's do left again. And right one more time. All right, pop your hood. I think we got a bad fuse. So on these Fords, what sign? Let's see. I might be thinking of the F-150s. I do believe I am. All right, let me look it up. Uh, find the trailer brake fuse for the trailer turn signal. And uh, let me get back with you. All right, it don't have a uh, separate fuses for right and left uh, brake on the trailer. So, we're gonna get back here and test it. <clears throat> so what we're gonna do is, we're gonna get in here on this. Make sure you're touching it. Now, All right, hit the brake. You on the brake? Yeah. Is the switch on? Yeah. Okay, you can let off. That, right, my folks, is a bad wire. Let me see what I can do without having to rewire this trailer. Uh, let's see. Let's see what we can do. Let me go to the front. I see it easier. We got a bad wire. Yep. So, if you know how to read wires, people. All right, you see that? Four. Let me put a light on it. Four by 2.5. That means there's four wires, 2.5 millimeter each. That means <clears throat> there's no spare wires. That means we gotta pull a new wire. 
There's a break in it somewhere. So this project may not be done today. At least we got tail lights and right turn signal back working. And we can go from there. We'll see if we can find a wire maybe to pull in, but I don't know. I got so much more to do today. And I still got to get a nap before I work tonight. So we'll go from there. All right. Oh, uh, y'all have a good day. Remember, <laughs> build it, don't buy it. That way you know how to fix it when it is broke. I was able to find this a lot faster. See y'all.